the free magical pivots did their job once again today it's magical my friends it's magical gonna show you what went down here on the pivots how i use the pivots every day on the spy to make money trading futures and the overall market get an idea of how you can add these pivots to your charts i know people are always asking about like what my settings are and all that fun stuff so we're gonna talk about right here in this video it's monday morning mega money mondays let's go what's going on guys patrick here we did the live stream this morning i'm waiting for my express funded account i got funded through top step recently if you want to learn more about top step go through the combine you get a funded account you keep 90 percent of your profits and well i'm going to be now trading in that funded and i'm going to be doing it all live right here on youtube so let's dive into the charts and talk about these pivots my friends these pivots are just too powerful all right so we're pulling up the pivots here on the spy you can see this morning the spy opened up it gapped up a little bit 364 level it pulled back it filled the gap we kind of chopped around this level yesterday that or friday's low there at the 361 kind of bouncing and then we broke we turned that 361 into resistance from that level and then all the way down here to the pivots that bottom pivot being 358 and i talked about so many times on the live stream the idea that that 358 pivot was down there you know we were basically trading in the middle of these pivots and i'm thinking like hey there's a much better chance we keep this trend going and we touch down to that 358 pivot pivot there on the spy instead of just like magically turning up and going to that pivot at the 365s and we've seen so many times where these pivots play out perfectly you know opening up right there between them kind of figuring out which way the market's going to go is it going to go up is it going to go down market really doesn't know but we do know that there's that 365 level and there's that 368 level as pivots on the spy here and look at that we dipped all the way down to 358 so if you were shorting here let's say you're shorting here the 361s talk about in the live stream you're shorting there where's your target your targets down there at the 358s and you can see on friday as well same exact thing on friday we sold off we bounced off that first pivot there that s3 bouncing around we broke below there we turned that into resistance and we got down to that next pivot so these pivots are i'm telling you like they give you a very very good overall risk to reward a very good overall idea of which way the market is going because you can see like even when we're bouncing back up here Right, when we're getting this move back up, we're kind of bouncing back up. Do I want to be getting long right here, knowing that that pivot's right down here? Like, do I want to be long here, knowing that pivot's down there that we're probably gonna to touch? No, 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 no. Especially knowing that that pivot's all the way up here to the top for the long side, and for the short side, we're down here on the pivots. So, I mean, what's my option right here? I'm definitely thinking let's get short, and then we ride that down to that pivot. Now that we've bounced off there, the question is, do we turn that area into support? Kind of go do 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 and then start to move back up here you know that's a good question that 3600 level is a key level on the es right now it's holding support there big buyers coming in so we'll see what happens but in general the idea here is that these pivots man these pivots if you're not using them you better start using them the way that you add them to the chart is very simple you just go there on trading view you type in uh what is it um pivots right there pivot points standard so my pivot points are literally nothing changed. I kept all the prices the same. I didn't move anything. I didn't change anything. They're all exactly the same there. And yeah, pretty simple to see. Right now the market bouncing off that 358 level. So again, it's like, you know, could you have gotten long off that pivot off the bottom? You know, not a bad move. I mean, it's a move from the 600 up to the 14s on the ES right now. So, you know, you could have you could have done that. You could have taken that trade off the 58s and then maybe got to push back up here. But in general, you know, those pivots are there. They're strong. They're there every day. I use it basically only regular trading hours. There'll be a little bit. I think they're pretty much like the same no matter what. Yeah, so they're the same no matter what in terms of regular trading hours versus extended trading hours. The reason that I like the regular trading hours is because I can see the gaps in the SPY a little bit easier. Um, you know, obviously we know that with the extended trading hours that we gapped up here we opened up here so we had that gap in the chart from the close on friday so i'm thinking like if we can't pull back here and fill that gap well there's a chance we can just go do 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 lower and lower and that's exactly what happened down there to that pivot there on the spy so really just simple nothing too crazy like i don't need to explain this overly complicated it's a mathematical equation basically using the highs and lows of the previous day to establish the pivot points for today 
And the thing is like, we know that the algorithms, computers are using these pivots. They're using these mathematical equations or using the VWAP. They're using all these different things like Fibonacci and you know, all these different lines and charts. So if you don't have these on your chart, well, you're not even gonna know. You're not gonna know like, hey, look, there's a pivot right there at the 368, at the 358. You know, if you're shorting here and you get down there at 358 and you're like, wait, why are we bouncing? You know, why is it bouncing? What's happening? Well, if you don't see that pivot, right, then you wanna know. So, you know, the end of the day, having the right tools, having the right instruments definitely will lead you to having a better experience as a day trader, you know, being able to kind of really look for opportunities. The market bouncing pretty strong back there off that 358 level right now, back up to that 80 MA there on the 15 minute chart. If you look at the three minute chart, you can see how nice of a move that kind of was just off that low there off the 358s, so right back up there 359. Same idea if you're trading options, you can use these pivots as well. If you're trading options on the SPY, it also works on the NASDAQ, it'll work you know, pretty much on every stock. The pivots work on anything that's basically trading. I use the SPY just because it's a little easier with like 359, 360, 37, you know, the, the numbers are a little bit easier to read, just kind of mentally to remember if I'm in a trade, if I'm focused or whatever. I like those kind of whole numbers a little easier than, you know, saying like 3,614 or 3,600, things like that uh, versus the ES. So really a simple and easy indicator to add to your charts. It's the pivot points on TradingView. I'm sure other indicator other platforms have this as well and it gives you a pretty good idea of where the market could possibly be moving based on what happened the previous days the overall you know numbers and algorithms do two 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 one two three four five you know figuring out where exactly the market's going to move but very interesting to see how i think the market really does kind of look for these pivot points as magnets for the price to move I don't think it's a coincidence that we moved all the way down to that 358 level on the SPY and then we've now bounced back 359 like just magically like hey we're just magically bouncing back. I think there's a direct obviously a direct correlation between those pivot points and the overall price action and all of that fun stuff. So if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, like button, you know what to do. We'll be live right here 9.30 a.m. Eastern, live on YouTube, doing it all in the Top Step Funded account now. So if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button, you know what to do. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning on the tubes live. Let's go.